We've got dry earwax, we've got stubborn earwax, and we've got sticky earwax all coming up for you today, guys. My name is Rhys Barber, I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, thank you very much for watching our video today. Uh, now, this first patient here, you can see we've got this very, very deep section of wax here. Uh, but luckily, luckily, the patient has been using some olive oil, so it's helped to lubricate the canal. These, these wax plugs are quite dry but they are coming out really easily on this side. So you can see that lighter layer underneath that plug. That's where we're getting some of this uh, dry skin underneath as well. So we're just lifting all these pieces off the outside edge. There we go. And let's take a look at this eardrum. Looks lovely and healthy, really shiny, pearlescent eardrum there. Uh, good light reflex. Now this was a bit more of a stubborn plug. It had gone very dry and it actually formed on a bend about two thirds of the way down the ear canal. And what we've got here, when we try and lift this, we can see the whole thing is moving really well. Now, though we said the patient's been using some olive oil and it made a massive difference in this ear. Now the wax itself had gone so dry, it was so old, that the wax hadn't penetrated into the plug and started to loosen it. But what it had done was lubricated the canal wall, which makes things so much easier to get out. And if you give this a little bit of a wiggle here, you can see I'm just trying to maneuver it around that bend, just trying to get this out. So I'm just using the standard sized Zolna tube here just to pull it round. The reason I haven't used a manual tool in this case is because there was no gap. I just couldn't get the tool around it uh, to be able to pull this out. So it's all about the wiggle technique on this one, just to try to get this around the corner. You can see that lighter layer underneath where that dry skin has been. There we go, looks like a little raisin that one. Uh, and out it comes, and the eardrum itself looks lovely and healthy as well. So all looking absolutely fab there. Guys, don't forget, if you do enjoy the videos, you can always like, heart, share, follow, and subscribe for me. And if you do have ear problems yourself, you can always check out the link tree in the description, and you can reserve yourself an appointment with myself or the lovely Mr. Taylor Green. Coming up is some more sticky and uh, dry wax on this one as well. So what we have here is a patient that's classically used Q-tips. Uh, we can see we've got this thin layer around the outside edge, which is stuck really firmly to the canal wall, this central depression into the wax as well. Uh, so what's happened here then is when we're using those Q-tips, what we're doing is we're drying the canal and we're compacting the wax together. So at the moment, that's made this wax particularly sticky because it's drawn all the oil out of here. It's made this, you can see that dry skin layer underneath, and that happens a lot you'll see this on the second ear canal as well when you're using cotton buds it's stripping all your natural oils away so basically what you do is drying your canal out uh, and it's just going to cause more problems because everything goes really dry and in the second ear which is obviously coming up with this patient as well you'll see a totally different looking wax you'll see almost it's more uh, sort of concentrated dry skin in there, which gives it much lighter color. But we've got a good grip on this central section. This is a little bit of wiggle. This really didn't want to move. So you can see it's wiggling back and forth here just to try and get this wax plug out. There we go. I had to detach some of that front section to be able to pull this uh, chunk forwards here. And out this is starting to come. Look at that plug. It's on its way. There we go, look at that coming away there. Nice, big old chunky piece of wax there. But when we take a look beyond, we can see a much, much drier layer. Now what do you got to think about when we're using cotton buds and Q-tips? The same thing, Cotton Buds UK, Q-tips US. Um, when you're using those, what you're doing is you're pushing the wax in. So what's gonna be at the back end of the plugs is always the oldest, most compressed wax. And that's what we're seeing here is really, really dry. Um, but patient has been using some olive oil in this year as well. So it did make a big difference for us. But you'll see now, I'm gonna struggle a little bit to get this down the canal because our ear canals are not a consistent size and shape all the way down. They do alter size and they do alter shape. So if you've got a, a piece of wax that's solidly formed, so it's taken on the shape of that particular area of the canal, as you bring this down the canal, it makes it so much harder because you'll hit narrower portions, slightly more bendy portions, and you've got to try and work that really dry and solid plug around those bends and through those gaps. Uh, not such an easy one to do, but we've got a good grip here and we have got this top section folded forwards and brought down the canal now. But look at this. I am having to wiggle my socks off here to get this out. Look at that. Out that comes. Good size plug there. And let's take a look beyond that. There's still more beyond it as well. So we're going to get a good grip on this section. Nearly. Nearly. <laughs> it's almost there. You can see I've got just trying to kind of work it. There we go, that up and down movement, just trying to just to wiggle this wax down the canal. Uh, out that comes. There we go. 
And beyond that, we can see some staining on the eardrum as well. Now, this isn't technically wax. It's just little tiny bits of debris, very thin bits, which are actually stuck to the eardrum. So they pushed it that far down, it would actually stuck to the eardrum as well, uh, which is no mean feat and probably would have been super uncomfortable. But look at the difference between ear canals. When we look at this second ear canal now, what we have here is such a dry, uh, lighter colored pieces of wax and skin here. Uh, and this would have been super duper itchy for this patient, only because when you've got these dry layers of skin, especially when they're on the outer portion of the ear canal, which is that more flexible, the cartilaginous portion of the ear canal, what happens then is you've got these dry layers sitting on top of the skin. And as the jaw moves and the ear canal does this, those two layers pass one over the top of the other. And that's what gives this really itchy sensation in your ear canals. So I mean, for this patient, I would say, you know, throw your q-tips in the bin throw the cotton buds in the bin what you need to do here is just use some olive oil on a regular basis it's going to do two things it's going to help to moisturize the canal in the skin uh, and relieve any dryness or itchiness from it but it's also going to get absorbed by the wax which is going to soften it it's going to stop this from from forming like it is what we have there with this is lots of flakes of dry skin that have mixed in with the wax and then made it super hard because don't forget that dead skin is going to have a higher concentration of keratin in it which is going to make this really really tough and all those are getting involved and binding together and you form these really tough plugs of uh, mostly skin but with a little bit of wax just forming the glue that holds it all together um, so we're just pulling this bit out now you can see a much larger chunk here lots of these smaller pieces the more crumbly brittle pieces as we're taking about the canal a lot of this is getting sucked into the tube before we can even get it onto the paper as well so it's coming away nicely there we go. Look at the size of that piece there. Uh, you can see it just looks dry and brittle, that wax there. But it is coming away well. And sometimes what you'll get with these plugs is as you're pulling them out, you'll get a little bit of uh, dry skin still adhering to the canal wall. And then that holds onto the wax. So you'll get the plug so far and it'll just stop because that skin is just anchoring in place. But we've just got a bit of tidying up to do. You can see what I mean now if we lift this dry skin layer. Look at that underneath there. So you've got this thin coating of wax on the top, which is what should be happening in your canal. Don't forget the wax has a really important job. It keeps the ear canal nice and clean. Uh, it also forms like a little protective barrier against the skin as well, uh, so it should travel as a very thin layer from the innermost portion to the outermost portion of the canal. It only becomes a problem like this where it dries out a bit too much. There's a couple of little bits at the top here which are mostly tiny little flaps of dry skin that need to come away. So we'll get rid of those as well. Let's give this a little bit of a wiggle. There we go can be a little bit more difficult sometimes with these smaller thinner bits of skin it's hard to get a good old grip on them but the eardrum itself looking lovely and healthy there yep so definite advice to this patient use some olive oil it's going to make a massive difference four and a half centimeters just under two inches worth of earwax there between both ears as well guys you can see the big old darker chunks from the first ear canal the much lighter material from the second ear canal on there well guys thank you so much for watching my video again today thank you for bearing with us as well um while we're super duper busy at the moment we are still going to get some videos out uh me and ted were meant to be together uh this week but our patients ran over and we couldn't do it so fingers crossed next week we'll be back together on the videos as well uh, but as always guys take care of yourselves take care of your ears and take care of one another and we'll see you again real soon bye everyone